really wanted that bait. I have never had a day like that in my life, springer fishing. Got a little, got a little gruesome in here today. Hey guys, welcome to another Addicted Fishing video. We're sitting here at Stevens Marine, one of our great sponsors and partners to help make this video happen. Um, but today we're going to be inside their shop talking about all the fish fighter products that you guys have in stock here. You guys have seen all the fish fighter products on my boat, on Marlon's boat, even on Clint's boat because the reality is, is they make the best boating accessories and make fishing and you know our, all our equipment storage and you know downrigger mounts just to mean everything that we could ever want in a boat. These guys make it and they make it with really good quality. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I feel like over the years, lots of different companies have dabbled in, you know, this accessory and that accessory and Fish Fighter is by far the most complete line of stuff. I mean, everything you can imagine for your boat and they're innovative and responsive, I think. So like we'll come up with something and say like, hey, you know, they made a bumper holder for us, just little things to big things. If you have an idea, you know, and it's like, hey, you're not going to run with it yourself. You know, you, you hit them up, we hit them up and say, hey, be nice to have this. They'll come out with a product to accommodate it. So. Uh, I think we were one of the first big fish fighter dealers as far as starting to carry their whole line and now I know we're, the, we're their biggest dealer as far as carrying basically everything everything they have. We have a couple of really nice displays and a whole wall of their products. So, um, you and, know, it, and as I say, even on some of the components that Illumawall was making when it comes to like the sliding rod holders and stuff, you guys have turned that over to fish fighter because they make such a quality good rod holder that it's just, it doesn't make sense to put anything else in it. Exactly. It's their specialty. They're all set up to build these products and that's you know, giving them a, the ability to continue to innovate because, you know, they're not having somebody else make all their stuff. They can make it in-house. They can start with the design, you know, CNC cut it, and it's in a package ready to go in a few days. So, yeah, we've had them start making some stuff that we used to make in-house or have other people make. So it's consolidated a lot of that stuff that we do. And then, like I said, just some other things that, you know, we've dreamed up and thought, like, oh, boy, it would be cool to be able to sell this. We go to them. So I, I, I we have a good relationship with them independently. We're happy to sell all their stuff and I have it all in my boat. Once you get to use it out there, like, man, it's hard to think about like not having these extensions or not having these holders or, you know, all their stuff is, is really nice to use. If you guys want to see that stuff put to work, be sure to check out Marlin or I's boat walkthrough because we've got some videos on that. But Stevens Marine also carries a bunch of other accessories, everything from fuel additives to life jackets to tanks to to everything for trailering, everything that you guys need to, they're gonna be a very all-inclusive dealer. Obviously, they're pumping out a ton of boats and a ton of trailers out of here, so be sure to check them out. If you guys need something very specific for your boats, I'm pretty sure Stevens Marine has it. So, with that said, on to the video. Morning, addicts. We're sitting here in the Columbia River Gorge today. Absolutely beautiful weather. It's still kind of dark out. Just got up here. We got Roger, Roger, Mark, Tony, and Dave. We're on a guided trip today, catching some spring chinook. Um, tell you what, we're gonna have some beautiful weather, but it's been a morning bite. So we're gonna feverishly get these guys dialed in, get everything ready, and then we're gonna be talking a lot about some of the short bus stuff that we're using as far as like the flashers and the spinners to catch these chinook. Hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully we'll spend less time talking and spend more time catching some fish. But right now, we're gonna get these guys dialed up. Hopefully it'll be a well-oiled machine and get some bites. We can all put lines out if you guys up front keep your tips up and forward. It doesn't really matter. You got it, you got it, easy, easy. If he's throwing his head, be easy. When he's not, you get on. All the way to that lead, all the way to the lead. Do not walk back in the boat, stay on the edge of the boat. Straight up, straight up lift, nice and easy to get him. You got him. Nice job. Net. Paper. Yep. All right. Oh man, that's good. Nice fish. Good deal. Beautiful. 
Don't, don't do that. Don't tangle my feet. Sit. Stay. Welcome Stay. To the club. He, oh, he gulped that one. I'm going to leave you. Sit that. that Still you really wanted that bait. <laughs> got a little, got a little, got a little gruesome in here today. All right. He's off, he's off, he's off, put him back in. I got you, I got you. Go ahead and get you. I was getting bit right there, I swear to God. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, I, I was getting bit on this rod while I was hanging. I, re I went to reel and it was pounding on it. We had to move for the guy to land a fish. Son of a Okay, get out of my face. Ten, uh, 12 guys. Here, Miller. Miller. Right, grab his rod. Grab his rod. I got it. Never mind. He was still there. Still there. Nope. He's gone. You he lost him on the handoff. Oh, Back no. in. We're just gonna flip and we're gonna drop back in. Everybody should be brought in. I don't really understand why we're still hanging lines down. Sweet, finally. It took a little bit, man. We started one for five and finally that one shoot the bait and stayed on. Let's go! I gotta throw this out here to JT at Short Bus because he came out with this little blade design. And I started painting these for him and this is my design using this like color edged blades. I mean, it's pink and green and chartreuse which works really good for salmon, but for whatever reason, this blade has just been putting in some freaking work in this fishery this year. He just came out, um, he just came out from JT's 3.5 spinner like you guys all know and love, but killed another fish for me. We've had kind of a weird morning, so I haven't been able to show you guys too much what we're doing, but you can see there's a lot of boats in here. Everything's really competitive. We're using the 360 mirror chrome dipped flash, which has been really fantastic this year. They put off the most flash I think you can get, or the most reflection that I think you can get in any flasher out there. And we got the nice light wobble too. Yeah. 
those are fish they're right there. They're doing the same. Look right here, right? There's a fish. Let me eat it. Let me eat it. There you go. Look at that. Straight up. Real, real, real. Oh, oh that's locked wow. right there. I ain't gonna grab That's it this time. Like Keep it tight, Mark. I'm real. He's coming up. Easy, easy, I know. Keep it tight. Oh, you got the drag where you want him. You're off. Oh. Ready? Follow it. He's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. Follow it. I got my drag. Drop out. Drop the leg. Drop the leg. Good one. Nice. Got it, man. No. He's in the boat. Hey, it's our turn. Go ahead, Rock. Keep on, bud. Keep on. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, good one. That one might be a while. Give me a slow, steady lift. Slow, steady lift, please. Yeah, a little lift. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's going. Good one, we want him. Get him to the lake, get to the lake, get to the lake, to the lake, to the lake, to the lake, to the lake. Oh, stay lift straight up. Lift straight up. Nice and easy. There you go, a little more. Ooh. Got it. Nice job. Way to go, Cam. <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> Tony got one fing after nine of them. <laughs> You ever have one of those days where like the fish just keep popping off and keep doing just stupid stuff because salmon can sometimes drive you nuts. I'm using a double freaking treble rig and everybody thinks that's like some mega secret. Always get some, but we can use barbs in this fishery. And we are now four for 12. I need one more for other Roger. We have two Rogers. And we almost had him there, but we've made three little passes in here and put three fish and hopefully we're gonna hook a fourth.
<laughs> oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it, Miller. Just wait. No. Yeah. It came off. You missed off. it. You missed it. You missed it. it, it. Came off. <gasps> it came off. Oh. You waited, though. I Straight up, straight up. I can't get the f out. Roger, get it out of I can't get the f out. Thank you. He's there. Yeah, he's gone. No, he's there. 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 Nice slow steady lift. I didn't know yeah, that. Slow steady lift. Lift, lift, lift. Shine. Yeah, the only thing that happens is you break him up. Just keep him. Lift, Roger. Oh, he took your line. He took line. Real, 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 real. He's done. He's done. Slow down. steady lift. Straight up. Lift straight up. Nice and easy. Right on. Okay. It took. 17 takedowns to get our final limit salmon. I have never had a day like that in my life springer fishing. Oh my god. So you know what we do with this? <laughs> That's a dandy. He ain't gonna move much after that.
bound. Right. So from the 2.30 wake up to right now, it's been a 12 hour day. I have cannot believe how many springers we've hooked in life, but I have a question for you guys. What would you rather see? Would you rather see takedowns or bobber downs? I want you to guys answer that question down below because I think Alex probably put a lot of takedowns in this video. I hope he did that for you guys. Uh, we kind of did this the last spur of the moment just because I had five guys and Alex was in town. He said, let's go hop in the boat. Um, as you guys can see, the springer fishing has been great this year. It's been productive. We finally got the good weather and stuff that we needed to make it all happen. Um, but man, what a struggle. I can tell you, man, and you're going to see a lot of this too when we come out with my channel. You're going to see a lot of like the day to day to day, like how much different it can be, like what can happen one day and then watch the wheels fall off the next. But cool guys, awesome. Roger, Roger, Mark and Tony um, and Dave, uh, great guys to fish with. Um, they're, they're fishermen, they understand it, but we ground hard, they fished hard, kept our rods clean, kept everything going, and so I'm really glad uh, they got to take home some upper Columbia River Springer. Uh, best eating salmon in the world. Uh, if you disagree, well, let me know about it down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll do it again. See ya.